in grade eight, we also give out option awards. These awards are given out to the individual that exemplifies excellence throughout the option term. At this time, I will call on the option teachers to present the awards. Juan Miro said, the works must be conceived with fire in the soul, but executed with clinical coolness. I can't think of a better description for this year's art award winner, Trinity Wright Alvin. I've had the honor of teaching Trin for three years now. And when she came to art class in grade six, she was this spunky, quiet girl working peacefully at her table. But despite her near silence, her artworks just screamed creativity. Over the past three years, it has become clear that her imagination is only overshadowed by her determination. She is determined to improve on her technical skills and, and has easily surpassed my own drawing abilities. She is determined to pluck out every ounce of detail that can be placed. And she is determined to surpass her own creativity with each new artwork. When Trinity creates, pencils are privileged to be wielded by her skillful hand, and paintbrushes bow before her. Though seemingly quiet, Trinity's voice is amplified as if by megaphone through her art. And I think that the world needs to hear Trin's voice right now. I believe we would all be a bit more inspired, a bit more creative, and a bit more appreciative. Trinity, I am awestruck by your skills and inspired by your innovation. Thank you for being my student, and congratulations on this award. We have two grade eight band awards this year. The first one will be going to Lena Kozak. Lena not only strived for excellence on her trumpet, but she continually found ways to improve her skills. She was involved in concert band, jazz band, and pep band. She made creative playlists for all of us to listen to in entering the band room. Lena was always full of great suggestions. The second award is going to Zamir. Zamir is also in concert band, jazz band, and pep band. Zamir has a gift of entertaining, whether playing an instrument or not. Zamir often took leadership, uh, a leadership role in the band room, encouraging others around him to do the same. Zamir and Elena are both incredible musicians. Keep working hard. Our Grade A Choir Award is going to Kylie Charles. Kylie showed leadership in many areas. She often came to class with suggestions or song ideas, and, or she'd ask if she could help lead uh, the class with her friends, making up lesson plans, warm-up exercises, and different ideas. Congratulations, Kylie. Hello, I'm here to present the uh, Computer's Aid Award. Uh, the award this year goes to Theron Wilson. Thank you, Theron, for all your hard work and dedication to computers this year. Thank you. The award for grade eight foods goes to a student skilled beyond her years in the foods classroom. She was an excellent group member, led by example, demonstrating techniques, and refused to accept anything but the best taste in her recipe. This year, Foods Aid Award goes to Aislinn Farm. Congrats, Ace. Today I have the privilege of presenting the Drama Award. I worked with this young man for three years. He is an incredible asset to our classroom. He brings light and laughter, a mature humor that is matched only by my own. And it is my privilege to present Silas Hedevan with the Drama Award, well earned, and I cannot wait to see you on the big screen. The award for Grade 8 French goes to a student who has demonstrated a commitment to excellence in learning. She took pride in her work and was great help in the classroom in assisting her peers. This year's French award goes to Pia Roque. Congratulations, Pia. I'm here to present the Grade 8 Sewing Award on behalf of Madame Meunier. Here's her message. 
The Grade 8 Sewing Award is awarded to the student who demonstrated outstanding workmanship and time management skills in sewing class. This year's recipient for the Grade 8 Sewing Award is Kaylee Nakamura. Kaylee demonstrated her love of sewing each day in class and was an example for others. Her technical skill level, creative flair, and attention to detail resulted in a very impressive sewing resume. Her many projects were all beautifully designed and assembled. Kaylee was also an important member of the class who contributed to the class dynamic in a very significant way. An accomplished sewing student who understands the sewing concepts in the curriculum as well as the functioning of a sewing machine, Kaylee was always willing to be of assistance in the sewing lab. On many occasions throughout the term, she was a kind and helpful coach to her peers. I congratulate Kaylee on her many successes in sewing aid this year and for being an exemplary student in so many ways. From Madame Lumiere. Today it's my special honor to present the Outdoor Ed Award. Uh, this individual has been in my class uh, the most out of anybody I've ever taught and is the sharper shooter in the school uh, and the Outdoor Ed Award goes to Mika Olson. Good job Mika. Hello, I'm here to present the Leadership Award. This individual always puts others in front of herself. She's always willing to help out in any capacity. Congratulations to Jeanette Chopin. I'm here to present the Grade 8 Shop Award. I actually have two winners. Um, my first winner is someone who uh, dedicates themselves to doing a great job every time they um, do their work. Uh, that is Kevin Kwan, and my second award is someone who, again, is dedicated, works hard, um, absolutely takes their time and learns everything they can, and that is Autumn Koch. We're honored to be presenting the Grade 8 Phys Ed Award to the top male athlete for the year of 2020. Not only did this person demonstrate true character in sports, teamwork, sportsmanship, he's a great leader in our class. He helps out, he makes sure that he involves everyone, and he's a true ambassador for what it means to be an athlete and a student in Wilson Middle School. For 2020, we'd like to congratulate Delete Abraham. Congratulations to me. All right, this year for the 2020 Grade 8 uh, Female Phys Ed winner, uh, we look at uh, not only athletic ability and, and, uh, and skill in the Phys Ed class, but uh, way more into the other components of the Z, which are um, you know attitude, cooperation, uh, ability to follow instructions, and we thought that this uh, individual uh, exemplified all of those things very well. So, Miss Tony, we would like to congratulate for the 2019-2020 Grade 8 Z Award, Natalia Gomez. Congratulations, Natalia. Yeah.